What's up, guys? So before we get the review going, man, just a big shout out to Vanger Keep 56 Shay Dizzle, and Dal Boone helping me get the review done a bit faster. So here we go. Carlos Rogers, Campus Hero, 97 overall zone defense style, six foot tall, 96 speed, 94 excel, 98 zone, 77 catch, 93 play rate, 95 man, 91 agility, and 97 press. Also has a 94 jump. Now he is definitely one of the better zone defense uh, corners in the game. A great, great um, corner if you you know if you struggle with stopping the deep pass. But anyways, enough about the stats, man. Let me show you what he can do on the field. So when I picked up Rogers, I knew right away the two corners that I was going to be comparing them to was the Charles Woodson and the Night Train Lane. All three of these guys have a 97 overall rating, so that was that's exactly who who I was going to be comparing them to. Right here, his man. His man to man was a little below average, very surprising, but this right here was just some of the few times where he did stick with his man. Breaking up the pass, he did also very well, whether it was a short little slant, a curl route, or just a, a route like this. Fighting for the ball was definitely very solid. Tackling was no problem, as you can see here, took on tight ends, running backs, did his job. So if you want to put him in the slot and have him go up against these uh, tight ends or running backs or whoever, don't worry about it, a solid tackler. But if you do this, I always recommend being more conservative with your corners because that would, you know, it's just a safer option. He only has a 77 catch rating, but don't let that fool you, man. This guy makes amazing catches, whether he's jumping around like this, where you click on and be aggressive, or you just see him go deep and jump, jump up and catch the ball. And speaking of that, I noticed he had way more success when I would click on him at the last second and be aggressive for whatever reason that was, you know, he didn't have more success. Like this right here, just click on and be aggressive, get those crazy animations. As far as his press rating, man, amazing press rating, believe me. Had, I don't think, you know, to be honest, I don't think anybody broke off from a press from what I recall. I don't believe a single person did. But this right here is what he did worse, man, was the man to man, which, you know, like I said, was very surprising. Just got burnt so many times with man to man. Now, I know you can shade your um, your defense, you know, to the right or left or wherever to help stop certain routes. But I just wanted to see what he would do on his own without me having to shade. And as you can see here, man just got murdered. So, in my opinion, if you run a heavy man to man defense, I don't recommend getting him. But you know, if you run a heavy zone defense, that's a different story. Because what he did best was this right here, defending the deep pass. Now, I'm not saying he was perfect. Believe me, he did get beat from time to time. But for the most part, was very consistent. So, like I said, if you run a heavy zone defense and you're just going to you know, uh, put him out wide, that's where I feel that he would do the best. He would play okay in the slot, like I said. But honestly, because he was so effective in the deep pass and because so many guys are just abusing the aggressive catch, you need corners like this that can stop the deep ball. So, in my opinion, an absolute beast if you have a zone defense style. Anyways, guys, that's going to be the end of this review. My final thoughts. Do I think he's worth 130000 That's a very solid price for him. That's a very, very good price. And right here, you know, as you can see, on paper, he's better than Night Train Lane. Now, on the field, you know, Night Train Lane, I feel, is a bit better overall. But on paper, man, Rogers has him beat. Now, I'm not saying he's better than Night Train Lane because, you know, if I had to choose one, you know, to be clutch, I would definitely choose Night Train Lane. But... Even though on paper, he's got him beat, you know, on man coverage. He's got him beat on agility and speed. But for some reason, I can't figure out why Night Train Lane plays man-to-man -man better than Carlos Rogers. I can't figure it out. I, I, I don't know what it is. But anyways, I would say Carlos Rogers is a top five corner if you run a heavy zone defense. If you do, I say he's absolutely a top five corner. But if you run like a heavy man-to-man, -man, like a two-man under or whatever your man-to-man -man defense is, I would say not. I mean, I did not have good success with him, at least not in my opinion. I mean, I mean, as you can see in the review, he was just getting killed consistently man to man. But anyways, guys, that's going to be the, uh, the end of this review. My next review, obviously, is going to be that golden ticket land in Collins. So that one should be out as soon as, you know, as soon as I can. I'll put it out as soon as I can. So anyways, guys, thank you for watching, man. I'll see you boys for the next review. Peace.